So now I'm going to talk about um, another version of the PSO. We call this is the local best PSO. So the setting is more or less the same. We need to create a population, the size of the swarm that is NS. So again, we will have a number of individuals, uh, X1, X2, so and so, up to N, X, N, S. And then so now, again, we also have the personal best position. That means associated with each X, we have the velocity. And then so we also have uh, the personal best position, the personal best y1, y2, so and so. So that means this is the best experience or the best solution of x find and, uh, uh, since the first generation. Yeah. And now we are talking about the local best. The local best that is different from the global best. The local best, it means that we are talking about the best position find by a label of particles. For example, when we talk about when we talk about the label hole formed by say and one for particle one, we have two elements that is x one. What I mean x one that is this x one, the whole vector right here, and then x two they form label hole. So why one hat that is the best solution among these two so what i mean the best solution is we are going to evaluate the cost pick the one which give you the minimum cost among within this group and then this y1 will be either x1 or x2 the one which give you the minimum cost according to the labor labor hope we define so once we have this information we have the the swarm we have the local best position the personal best position and then we can just simply update the velocity using this update rule this update rule it is more or less the same as the previous one we need to have the the value of the velocity we need to have y the personal best position right here as well as the decision variable and also the only difference that is instead of using the global best we use the personal best yeah as well as the decision variable again c1 c2 they they are some constant parameters we have to choose before we are going to apply the update r1j r2j they are random numbers yeah, it in each iteration for each particle we are going to generate the random number in the range of zero to one. After that, we are going to update the particle using the current position of the i particle and the update velocity given by this equation to form the new position of the particle. Yeah, x i t plus one. And now this is what I mentioned, the local best position, that is for each particle, we are going to form a label hole. Yeah? So, and on the right hand side of this equation, it just means that we are going to find the cost of all the particle within this label hole, and then pick the one with the minimum cost to be the yi hat that is the local best position for particle i so for each particle we are going to find the local best position for this label hope and then we have to define that when we start the algorithm yeah okay so all the rest they are more or less the same as the global best position and then to, uh, when the label hope of all particles are the entire swarm that means the local best position will become the global best position because the label that is that is um they are the whole swarm it means that the local per local best position will become the global best okay so this slide just showed you the overall picture what we are going to do so we still have the same um, basic concept we have 
a group of particles in the workspace. And then so this is the population. X1, the first particle, associated with that, so we have the velocity one. X2, the second particle, associated with that, we have the uh, velocity two, so and so. So we are going to update a swarm using this uh, update rule. The mo most important thing that is, we need to find the velocity, t plus one, yeah, v i t plus one. Now, corresponding to the swarm, we are going to find the personal best the personal best that is the best solution find by each particle denoted by y i y1 y2 up to y n s that is the swarm size so once we defined the label hope n1 n2 so n1 that is the label hope set for x1 say if it is it contain x1 and x2 so y1 hat that is the best solution among these two yeah so that is among this uh, label hope so corresponding to each label hope we need to find the yi hat the local best position so yi if you are going to expand that we will just find out that uh, we have the yi1 yi2 yi nx according to what we have done before and then so so if we are trying to relate the local best to the global best again uh, right here when we use local best pso we do not need to use the global best but what i mean is that i try to relate the local best with the global best so the global best that is the best of the local best yeah okay so now I'm going to show you the slide how to update each element of the particle now this is the population x1 to x and x x i one of the particle we have x i1 i2 up to x i n x yeah and then so we i that is just the same structure but uh, it just so the velocity information this is the update rule. We expand that into the vector form, so we will we show all the elements right here. So now what we are, what we need to do is just to find the element of the v i t plus one according to this update rule. Yeah. So find the personal best. The personal best that is the best solution found by each particle, and then according to the label hook information we set it up in the beginning we can find the local best in each iteration so the format that is y hat i so expand it we have an x element yeah okay so now take a look at this update rule this update rule that is they are very similar to the global best position or uh, global best pso so when we talk about c1 c2 we have to define that they are constant before we apply the algorithm r one j r two j they are random number in the range of zero to one in each iteration for each particle we have to generate this number yeah so when j equals one i it means that it is corresponding to this number i could be from one to up to and x j that is the subscript right here one two up to n x that is we are talking about how many elements in each vector yeah so when j equals one we are talking about which element which position we are going to pick yeah so i'm going to change j to one it means that we i one just the same right here we choose this element and then so y i one that means i choose this element x i one x i one that is this element and y hat i one y hat i one that is this element so x i one again this element so actually right here we just choose the first element for all these vector and then we can compute we i one t plus one that is this guy once we have this guy and then add it to 
xi1 again this element and then we come up with the first update of the element we paid this process going through position by position we come up with all the rest and then once we have done the first particle change i from 1 to 2 we go to the next particle repeat this process update all the elements in the vector and then we come up with the x2 so repeat this process until the last particle has has been done and then that is the update of the population so give you a little bit more information about uh, the label hole. right here for example we have the particle looked by a b c d e up to um up to k yeah so we form four groups this one the label hole that is for and a a it means that this is particle we have the particle that is a b c so the same for b and b that is the label hole that is a b c as well so the same for c yeah so that means when we choose, when we pick the local best for A, that is the best cost among these three guys, the same for N, B, and C. And now it looks that for group three and group four, the label for I, that is shared by this group. Yeah. So when we talk about the label K, that is I, J, and k but for i this n i we have the label hole for g h i j k so we have five elements in this group so when we choose the local best for particle i that is the best solution among this group for nk the local best solution that is the best solution among this group ijk yeah okay so if we are talking about the movement in the next iteration in the local best scenario so because fde this is an individual group it does not have any connection with other groups so this movement is local based on the local best position yeah so that means using this local best position it is possible that so we are able to turn um we are able to turn the swarm move individually subgroup by subgroup yeah rather than so rather than like the global global best um scenario the whole particles move in the same direction okay so take a look at the local best PSO. This is the pseudo code. Yeah. So initially we are going to initialize the yi0, yi hat zero. That is, of course, we need to generate a population x1 up to xns, x the size that is chosen by us, and then associated with that we have v1, v2 up to vns. And in in the beginning, in the first iteration, the personal best that would be the x because that is the best solution we obtain up to now and then according to the label hole, we choose and then so we choose the local best solution yeah okay so for each particle we have the label hole definition right here so we can determine the local best uh, now this is the full chart it describes exactly the same thing now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the selection of the label hole. Yeah. So we have two approaches. The first one that is the it depends on the particle index. That means we have x1, x2 up to x and s. So for each particle we have a lot of elements inside. Yeah. So particle it when we define the label hole according to the index for example like this x1 x2 x3 this is computational inexpensive when we compare with the spatial similarity approach yeah 
it is because that so uh, we do not check their position for example in the space okay in the space this is x1 maybe this is x2 this is x3 so this one is form it is distributed in the workspace yeah so we do not consider where they locate whether they come close to each other or not we just simply use the index one two three and then it forms a group and two maybe um it would be x1 x2 x4 something like that yeah so this one the advantage that is we promote the spread of the information because it collect all the information in a large space maybe it is a large space yeah because we do not consider their position and then so it can collect a wide range of the information but those information may not be relevant yeah okay now when we consider a spatial similarity that means instead of randomly pick some index to form the label hope we are going to choose those particles say x1 this is x5 uh, this is x6 they come close to each other and then to use their position we form the groups we form the label hope yeah so this one that is the information of the particles they are similar and then they collect the real local information because they are very close to each other so it is in favor of the local search yeah so different weight using particle index or the spatial similarity they have different kind of advantages as well as disadvantages we can try which one performs better and in the previous slide, I also mentioned about the overlapping of the label hopes. If you are going to form the particles, yeah, form the groups, form the label hopes without overlapping, and then it is fine. But uh, you turn the local best PSO into a sub PSO. They just each subgroup. They just search by itself. This information, their information, is difficult to pass on. But if you are going to have some groups overlap with each other and then in that case you promote the information passed on to the next group in the next iteration or future iteration so this interaction this interconnection can promote the information sharing so that the search will converge quicker yeah okay local best versus the global best and then uh, we just consider a few aspects computational demand actually the local best is higher because we need to consider the label hope and then compute the label information to form the local best but for the global best we do not need to do any uh, we do not need to uh, consider the local best information diversity local best is higher because they work in a subgroup and then uh, this sometimes these sub subgroup may not pass the information to each other because of the di higher diversity the convergence speed is low is slower and also because of the local information they search locally and then uh, it would be less likely to be trapped in the local minimum yeah so for the global best of oh, low computational demand a lot smaller diversity so it will converge quicker but there will be a higher chance compared with the local best PSO being trapped in the local minimum 